you. But you're you're in um, the Punjab right now, right? What city are you okay. in? Okay. Okay. So first of all, I have to uh, uh, tell about myself. Uh, I am working with uh, electronic media from last eighteen years. I have worked with uh, uh, All India Radio, uh, uh, Delhi, ANI News, uh, Discovery Channel, and uh, Z News, uh, Punjab Today uh, in Delhi. I worked Delhi uh, twelve years uh, continuously, and uh, four years back uh, I came to Chandigarh uh, in Day and Night News Channel. So mm -hmm. particularly regional channel, Day and Night News Channel. And uh, after that, uh, uh, day and night news channel was uh, banned by Punjab government in Punjab because uh, day and night news channel uh, uh, presents the uh, 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 ruling parties uh, scams, uh, etc. Uh, something like they are doing uh, wrong things, so we uh, used to present them in the public. And, so this was yeah, the reason why you were recently arrested. You were criticizing, you know, the ruling party publicly. Is that yeah. what led to your arrest? Yeah. Actually, uh, uh, eighty-three-year-old uh, uh, man, uh, Sikh leader Bapu Surya Singh Khalsa, uh, is on hunger strike, and uh, I uh, reported for that particular event uh, okay. to tell the. Uh, what is happening there and why he is sitting on the hunger strike. Uh, uh, he is sitting on the hunger strike to, for the release of uh, Sikh prisoners uh, right. who completed uh, their conviction and, uh, 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 and the state government and the Indian government uh, denied to release them. So uh, Sikhs have to uh, protest and uh, Sikhs have to uh, strike for the release of particular uh, Sikh political prisoners. So, Bapu Suresh Singh Khalsa, the person, 83 year old uh, person, uh, used to, uh, I think, he protested well, and uh, from January 16, he continued uh, his strike, and uh, from 8th of February, uh, police uh, uh, forcibly picked him up and uh, 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 admitted in the hospital. So they, they took him from his hunger and, strike and, and checked him to the hospital. I, I, okay. I continue uh, uh, regularly. I uh, report for the that that particular event in the media, uh, uh, particularly in just broadcasting North American Punjabi news, Punjabi news channel right. and uh, Sangat in European uh, uh, region channel. So uh, uh, police wanted to stop me that uh, reporting. Uh, they pressurized me, and uh, at uh, 26th of uh, February, I was there in hospital with Bapu Sura Singh Khalsa, and uh, there are uh, uh, three daughters, uh -huh. uh, uh, his uh, son, uh, and uh, two, three other relatives. So, uh, police came there, uh, uh, 15, 16 police, senior police officers and uh, uh, policemen came there. Uh, and they detained all of us and they formally announced uh, uh, the arrest of Bapu Sura Singh Khalsa and then they took my camera uh, and detained all of us right. and they asked me why to, why to uh, report this uh, uh, event for uh, American channels, uh, European channels I told them that this is my duty, I am a reporter, uh, I have to cover this event and you are uh, police officers, if uh, your duty is to stop me, uh, stop. So they said that we have to detain you, man. Yeah, no, Come absolutely. With us. Well, you know, just as a, yeah. as a side note, as an as American, when I think of you know people uh, going on a hunger strike, I think of India, I think of you know Gandhi, I think of that's an Indian thing to do to show political protest and so it's very ironic that you're covering a hunger strike for political reasons and the police are coming and arresting people for doing what India is you know almost famous for doing do you find that to be an interesting perspective on this 
Yeah, Indian, Indian people were famous for uh, hunger strikes. Uh, you named Mr. Gandhi. And a uh, lot of people, uh, so many uh, people uh, are uh, very popular in particular uh, style of protest. Mm-hmm. So, Surya Singh Khalsa, uh, not a new name. Uh, there is Anna Hazare in Delhi uh, who protested uh, like uh, in hunger strike. So, from last 16th of January, uh, he is uh, continuously on hunger strike. So, uh, today, he was very serious. Uh, his uh, kidneys was uh, uh, damaged, starting damage. Right. So, uh, uh, police forcibly uh, uh, handcuffed him and uh, uh, forcibly uh, uh, fluid uh, dripping him. So, I think so okay. Uh, uh, he's very serious, uh, very serious. Uh, do, his do son see? was detained. His son was uh, uh, formally arrested uh-huh. in uh, particular under uh, fake cases. So he was. Uh, he is now in jail, Ludhiana jail. His son, NRI, American citizen. Wow. So there's uh, no law and order, no law in Punjab. Everywhere is a uh, uh, police raj, uh, political people raj. So they are trying to demolish the uh, society uh, through uh, fake cases, through mm-hmm. police war. So uh, there is a great need to uh, overhaul all of this uh, uh, system in Punjab. Uh, no right to expression. There is no right to expression. Nobody can speak uh, 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 against uh, 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 politicians' atrocities uh, and uh, other uh, wrongdoings. So, so when, you were, pressure. when you were Even, arrested, what, was, uh, okay. what were the steps from, you're in the room there, uh, the police come, they arrest you, they take you away, uh, what, what are the next steps? Is there an interrogation? Do, do they go through your materials? Uh, what how long did you spend in, in jail? Uh, what did that process look like for you, knowing that the, the Punjabi police are, are upset with what you're doing? Uh, when they detained me, uh, particularly, uh, they pressurized me, they threatened me to uh, register a case against me. Mm. Uh, in any of case, uh, rape case, uh, drug case, uh, etc. And after that, uh, uh, when I uh, 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 strongly uh, protested, and uh, in the uh, in very few minutes, uh, my detention uh, spread all around on uh, social media. Right. So phones are coming uh, to police officers. Early uh, uh, Surinder Singh, uh, where is Surinder Singh? Where is the person who is covering the uh, particular event? And you detained him. So, uh, uh, pressure uh, become on the police officers. So they uh, yeah. they change their behavior uh, a bit mild, and then they said, "Okay, uh, please uh, uh, don't uh, go to social media against police. Don't go to social media against uh, uh, Punjab politicians." And don't go to uh, social media uh, in the favor of uh, Bapu Sura Singh Khalsa. Interesting. So, yeah. So, how prevalent is, is the use of social media uh, in the Punjab? I know you were messaging me this morning through, uh, through WhatsApp. Uh, what, is that how most people are communicating there? Or is this uh, Twitter? Or what's the Indian social media network look like there? And, and is it pretty popular for people to be using this? Uh, in Punjab, uh, uh, there are only fourteen uh, percent people using uh, social media, WhatsApp, Facebook. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, these fourteen percent people can change the whole scenario, and they will uh, do in the coming uh, two thousand seventeen election, uh, particularly. So these uh, number is rising and rising. So uh, social media is great, uh, great weapon. Uh, to uh, demolish the wrongdoings, uh, demolish the uh, corrupt system. Uh, so people are becoming more aware, uh, uh, more aware, more uh, uh, genuinity is coming in their uh, their right. behavior. 
so social media is a great opportunity to become a uh, number one citizen number yeah. one uh, social animal yeah. do, do you so, ever uh, do you ever take any of um, the social media does that influence how you're reporting there do, do you get a feel of what uh, people are I am I am talking with you uh, because of uh, social media network otherwise uh, uh, they can put me into jail uh, they can put me into any other uh, uh, black room dark room so uh, i'm you know, talking with you because of uh, social media right so there's social like a, media is, a layer yeah, of protection uh, because of social media because there's now pressure outside of that dark room to say you know, where is surrender <laughs> exactly yeah. well you know our our organization the organization for minorities of india is based in america and we did a, a pretty comprehensive report on on torture throughout india and found that the practice was was universal uh, now you because of social media, had a lot of attention on your case. Um, but what about other reporters um, in the Punjab or other areas of India? Do they feel like their views will be uh, persecuted by the police? Do they have fear of retaliation if they publish something you know, against a particular politician or the police? Okay, uh, Peter, there are only few uh, few people uh, who are reporting very fair and fearlessly. Mm. Uh, me, uh, Mr. Kamar Sandhu, Mr. Baltej Banu are uh, uh, two, three people. We are just only two, three people. Uh, the other people, uh, like uh, uh, we can say, uh, they are uh, behave like slave. Mm. Uh, politician uh, by them, by hook and crook. Otherwise, uh, firstly, they threaten uh, anyone, any people, any journalist, any press reporter uh, that uh, we can register a case, fake case against you or otherwise, uh, you have to report for us. You right. have to report in the favor of uh, government policies, in the favor of ruling party and in the favor of all of uh, uh, even if uh, we can any uh, uh, scam, any scandal, any uh, infrastructure problem, you can't report against the ruling party, you can't report against the uh, government, you can't report against the police. Mm. So if anybody can uh, try to do the things in that manner, uh, they can uh, they, uh, register case against them and put uh, him or her into jail. And Are, or there, otherwise, uh, gundas there, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, muscle men of ruling party hmm. uh, can uh, kill him or her. Okay. Okay. Is, is, is there any? Is there any appeal? I mean, if if you guys, how are you to, in America? Uh, you can't have an election without talking negatively about the ruling party, right? Every every four years, the president is the worst president we've ever had because the, the media makes money off of <laughs> criticizing the president. Now, you guys don't have that same freedom, but you know, this couple of weeks ago, we had President Obama in India praising the Indian Constitution for protecting religious freedom, and free speech. Have you experienced that? What do you think? Do you have any appeal? In the Indian Constitution for free speech, is there anything you can appeal to as a universal platitude uh, in dealing with free speech as a media personality in India? Uh, you are right. You are right. Uh, the speech of Obama, I can uh, uh, talk about. Uh, uh, Indian Constitution is like uh, elephant teeth. Uh, uh, the teeth of elephant uh, to eat uh, <laughs> other uh, other teeth and to show other teeth. So uh, I can say uh, that Mr. Obama, uh, which was his uh, uh, visit conclusion speech uh, for the Article 25 of uh, uh, right to uh, expression, right to religion. So there is a big problem in India of uh, conversion. Religion conversion. So right. President Obama uh, speech about that particular uh, incident happening in India. So after that, there is a break uh, in conversion, conversion, forcibly conversion. Right. So 
Yeah, India uh, conception uh, is a uh, two way uh, uh, behaving uh, by two way. Uh, there is a difference uh, to implement the uh, Indian constitution. Uh, Indian constitution behaving uh, uh, different peoples by different way. Uh, Indian constitution uh, behaving Sikhs other way and Hindus other way. Uh, it is very much clear all over India. Uh, so same uh, law protect. Uh, uh, Sikh genocide uh, accused and same law uh, put uh, Sikhs in jail. Mm. So that's a uh, uh, great, great uh, uh, thing in, uh, according to Indian constitution. We see, we can see, it's hard fact, same law, same law uh, put the Sikhs in jail for many years, 25 years, 26 years, or same law protect uh, uh, Sikh genocide accused right in, in on same earth, on same in same country and so there's there's kind of that uh, once again you don't know what's going going to happen because the, uh, the the local police kind of control the interpretation of what the law is uh, and and that's I know that's difficult for you if, if you could tell you know an American audience uh, what you'd want to see change in the Punjab? Uh, what would be some goals to make reporting more free? Um, what, what would you want to tell uh, that, but that you can't tell now because of conditions in Punjab? And how would you like to see them change? Is it for you? Is it a government change at a national level? You see Narendra Modi coming and saying we can't have local police arbitrary enforcing the law. Is it? Is it? Uh, a national movement towards uh, more open free speech or is it a movement of the people uh, where more social media means that there's more transparency um, about our government, about India's government? W what do you want to see happen uh, and what do you think is realistic to happen in India in the next few years or you know, in your lifetime? Uh, particularly, uh, I will talk about Punjab. In Punjab, uh, police totally under uh, political power. So, uh, I can say that uh, Punjab police is uh, working under politicians, not under any law. Uh, they, can, uh, they can pick anyone, they can uh, kill anyone, they can uh, register case against anyone without prior notice, without any issue, without any problem. So, uh, there is a great need to overhaul the police system. Uh, uh, which uh, needs to uh, uh, differentiate the police system uh, with the uh, political system. Right. So we have to work uh, to uh, uh, differentiate the police system totally from the political system. So uh, you uh, talk about uh, uh, how to change the system. So uh, we can change through a uh, vote system. Uh, we can change the government. If uh, we can change present ruling government in coming election, uh, that can happen a, a big thing. Or uh, we can change the all of the system. We can overhaul the government system uh, in the favor of public, in the favor of society. So we have to uh, uh, do the things in that particular manner. Uh, this is the need of the hour. So, right. social media is the second uh, uh, to change the society, second uh, main weapon to change the society, uh, to uh, uh, see the changes in society. Uh, so, people are uh, becoming more aware uh, than uh, past uh, before. There is a, uh, uh, we, we saw many, many wrongdoings in, uh, we are the eyewitnesses of uh, many many wrongdoings of uh, uh, present uh, ruling government of Punjab. Right, so, right. Yes. If someone wanted to, to follow your work and the things that you're doing in the Punjab, how would they, how would they find your work? Are you publish, publishing on the internet still? Um, how do people find your social media? Do you have a couple you know, web pages there that you could tell us about? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, a uh, lot of people uh, are following me on uh, Facebook, uh, uh, Facebook page, uh, on WhatsApp, and uh, uh, they 
salute my work. They salute me. Uh, I'm very thankful to all of my friends, all of my followers. Uh, they they want to know the uh, news, want to know the people, want to know the Punjab, want to know the actual happenings, what is happening. Right. So I I always try to tell the true stories of uh, Punjab, whichever murder, whichever uh, wrongdoings of government, whichever uh, any scam, whichever uh, actual truth. I want to tell the truth. I right. I uh, successfully uh, do the things uh, for my people, for uh, all of our living and world. Um, they uh, appreciate my work and this is my reward and this is my award. So uh, if I'm talking with you uh, because of them, uh, they, uh, they spread the news of my detention on Facebook, uh, on WhatsApp. So police uh, uh, is uh, uh, a bit in pressure uh, of right. social media. To right. and me. I, I think it's, it's, it's wonderful me. that you know us paying attention to your issue is actually you know helping allow you to speak more freely. And one of the reasons why we were so interested in doing the interview because the more we can shed light on your plight, the more freedom you actually have to to point out more, you know, government uh, corruption and political intersection with the police. Well, we have with us today Surinder Singh, a political journalist in the Punjab who was arrested by the police for uh, covering, of all things, an Indian hunger strike who was put in jail by police, rescued by social media, and is now out again spreading more trouble <laughs> um, by, by sharing the truth. Uh, and you and I both know that we believe that the truth will set the people free. And for that reason, you are a, a freedom fighter in Punjab. And is there anything else that you would want to say uh, about uh, your goals, your mission, what you would want to say to encourage the people in America to help uh, you know, provide fair elections, to provide uh, fair government in Punjab? Uh, should we continue to... to send our comments to Narendra and say, free the Punjab from political oppression. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, great need to free the Punjab from political, uh, uh, I can say, invaders. Yeah. Invaders, uh, 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 corrupt-minded invaders uh, who, who are ruling the Punjab right now. So there is great need to free Punjab from the, uh, that particular uh, family Raj. So everybody knows uh, I'm very thankful to all of you, uh, Peter, particularly you and uh, my people uh, who are watching this interview. So uh, the need of the R is to aware ourselves uh, uh, about the politicians, the corrupt politicians and uh, choose the fair and fearless and uh, committed uh, politician in next coming election. So, so I'm assuming um, you're, you're going to be very involved in the election, are you going to be expecting to spend any more time in jail because of the election? Yes. Any anything can, uh, you can say anything uh, happen uh, in Punjab uh, due to the uh, uh, present uh, ruling party present. Uh, uh, wrongdoings uh, which are happening in Punjab right now. So anything can happen here. Uh, yeah. I'm talking with you right now. Uh, God knows uh, what will happen with me in coming minutes, coming seconds. <laughs> yeah. Right. Very much. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a scary place to be. You are in the wild, wild east back there. <laughs> I feel like you're you're a cowboy in a, in a saloon and you're ready to take the town over and put a new sheriff in town. Uh, well, we are very thankful for your time. We're thankful for your work because you know you're pioneering free speech uh, for a people that really need it. And it's you know martyr-like efforts at the beginning like this that are going to start the bar bar rolling for uh, a different kind of independence for India, an independence of, of free thought, free expression. Um, 
that I don't think you've experienced in, in your generation. And I, I hope that uh, you can see that be born again in India. And I particularly like that it's happening in a region uh, of the Sikh people who, who are always noted for bringing freedom and, and enlightenment wherever they go. Uh, thank you again for your time, and I send my greetings to you, your family, and your community for uh, all that you're doing for your fellow journalists. You are all in our prayers. We're, we're praying for your safety. We're praying for your freedom, and uh, we, we hope that you would continue to fight the good fight. Uh, salam to you. Salute to you, Peter. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'll talk to you soon. We'll talk again, and we'll see how you're doing. <laughs> Adios. Sure. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, sir.